all gather around, uh, we will play a game of ping pong together. A one, a two. The business of interacting with a screen, totally unimaginable 50 years ago, because interacting with something on the screen is totally unheard of. It mean, you know, the attraction was just the power you felt in being able to control something up there. People just have no feeling for how magic all this stuff is. When you first walk into an arcade, there's this overwhelming cacophony of sounds that come at you, a glorious noise that pulls you in. When you come to Richie Knuckles Arcade, it's as if you, you went into a time portal. It's exactly like going into an arcade back in 1982 when the games are brand new and freshly out of the box. It gives you that feeling. It's arcade, it's the 80s. It's arcade, it's the 80s. Richie's job is very significant to resurrect these games from the potential trash bin of history and give them more life so that they can go on in the future. Richie likes to repair games, he likes to fix games, he likes to make them beautiful works of art. Yeah, that is fresh. That looks like it came out of Stern in 1981. You did this? I did this. What's important about this is it's part of our American pop culture. It's part of our history. It's part of what we enjoyed as kids. This is the first stage of a billion dollar industry. And we were there. We were the first gamers. I was shocked how many of my favorite games that Richie actually had. Whoa, you're here. And then, whoa, you're here. It was like one after another of whoa. And you know, I was anxious to get to playing them right away, especially the games that I hadn't seen for almost 30 years. To break a world record, it's such an incredible rush. It's like somebody could hand me the million dollars and I'd say, give me that, give me my score. Everybody has their game. When they walk in and they see their game in its glory, they're like, where did you find this? They walk up to it and they're just like, Richie Knuckles today brings to the classic arcade scene the same thing that Walter Day brought back in the early 80s. An energy, an excitement, a passion. We also officially named Richie Knuckles Arcade the king of arcades. I've been down in the dumps lately. You don't want to know, Faithy. You don't want to know. He made the right decision. It may not be the decision we wanted, but it was that which was the best choice. I am at a loss for exactly what I want to do. I know what I should do. I get sick to my stomach when I think about it. Let's not talk about it. Today's the final day of the arcade. I guess just take a little time to regroup and figure out what's next. Nothing should ever stop you. Every obstacle is an opportunity. This guy, he's gotten the highest score of these games. You guys just need to get the highest score in life. I like him. I'm glad we're getting this on film. If we're going to make this work, we're going to have to have input from everybody here and beyond. When we go home, we're going to spread the word of this. I want you to appreciate that this, this is not an average situation. The Richie Knuckles Arcade, one of the biggest arcade phenomena most likely in the world. 